How's it going guys? So we're here again outside the gym. It is nearly five o'clock at night. I've got about two hours before the gym closes and it's going to be heavy leg day. So I'm going to take you through that. So you'll be seeing some three sets of heavy squats, six reps each, and then two sets of heavy deadlifts. I want to keep this video short. Don't want to have it too long. I'm, my lean mass series is getting quite long in the videos now. So I'm going to have a couple of short one so this is going to be just my squats and my deadlifts because that's basically what this workout is so that's what it's going to do i might depend on how i feel when i get in there after i've stretched out and warmed warmed up and um, do a couple warm-up sets i'm going to try some doing some sumo deadlifts <clears throat> my flexibility and range of motion isn't the best for normal dead conventional deadlifts at the minute so i'm going to try some sumo deadlifts but that's going to be Basically, I've got my pre-workout, guys. I'm going to go in and spend about 10, 15 minutes warming up. Then I'm going to do probably four or five warm-up sets on squats. Just to make sure I'm fully warmed up. Let's get it done. See you in there, guys. How's it going, guys? So here we are, back in the gym. Squats and sumos, that's what this video is about. It's my heavy leg day on my program. So that calls for three sets of squats, two sets of deadlifts. All heavy sets, by the way. Um, I did about five warm-up sets before moving on to this working set of squats that you see here. And I, I'm not going too heavy at the minute until I concentrate on getting my form down. It is improving. I, each each week I, I am improving on my squats. I mean, these look a lot better than they did last week, although they're still not perfect. I am trying to concentrate more on pushing my knees out to help me get the depth that I'm looking for. But it doesn't always work out that way. Um, as you can see there, it didn't look like I was pushing my knees out at all. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm looking my, at my form too much in the mirror maybe, because I know some people do have issues with that, looking in the mirror while they're squatting. So maybe I am looking at my form too much in the mirror and, and it's putting me off my actual lift. So we'll see, I'll try and concentrate more on not looking at myself and just see how it, see how it go from there. Still work in progress on that one guys, so it's 100kg. I kept the weight at six reps, three sets, resting about five minutes in between sets on the squats. And I'm wearing my Converse, guys, so it is. It does feel a lot better wearing these. And I am standing on 1.25 kg um, plates, so that gives you the heel the slight increase, which you would get from wearing weightlifting shoes, which I feel I need to get. I feel I need to get myself some. Um, let me know down below guys in the comments if you um, have any of the weightlifting shoes and Nike or the Deers or maybe any others that I'm not aware of. Let me know if you think they're worth me getting. Uh, I've had a couple of comments back saying that the Nike ones seem to be the favourites at the minute. They seem to be better. I just need to make a decision. So let me know below guys. Let me know what you think. So the plan now guys is to keep the weight the same for maybe one or two more weeks just so I can really concentrate on getting my form down before I start increasing the weight and start really really hitting some heavy weights and maybe setting some new PRs. I want to make sure I'm doing proper form and not doing half assed squats with heavy weights. It's just gonna it's not looking good and it's just probably gonna injure myself. So I'll concentrate on form for maybe another one or two weeks and then start increasing the weight. So you guys know I've been talking about it for a little bit now. I'm talking about inch workout carbs and today I decided to give it a go. I brought some cold like lace things with me. Can't really give my honest opinion yet guys because I only used it once up to now so I'll see how I go over the next couple of weeks and let you know how, what I think of it then. But moving on now guys it is we're moving on to sumo deadlifts next. Now sumo deadlifts I have not properly done ever. I've done doubles every now and again just to get my form down but never really properly. So here I'm doing sumos for six reps, 110 kg, which is about 242 pounds, I believe. Not 100% sure. So I decided to do sumos today, guys, because my conventional deadlift, my flexibility isn't 100% and I'm a bit slow getting out of the hole. So I thought I'd do some sumo deadlifts, maybe try and help on that. And I did like these deadlifts, actually. Um, it felt a lot smoother, the movement felt a lot smoother, and I wasn't uncomfortable in any of the positions which sometimes I am in conventional deadlifts 
So I'll give these a try for a couple of weeks to see how they go. Now the bar in the background, as you'll see in a minute, does fall on my third rep. Now this was, I was going for six reps, but it did put me off a bit. So I had to refocus and then carry on and do the, the remaining three sets. Three reps, sorry. Um, and then the camera did die, so but I did do another set of six after that. So that's it for the video, guys. If you did like it, please comment below. And if you've not subscribed already, please subscribe. If you like the video, please give it a like. All that, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.